Season 4, in my opinion, is the best season from Jake and Josh. Considering that the, we've seen a lot of great episodes from the season. I did review about Panther Tar, Josh is done, and Meg, Mindy loves Josh. But since there are several other episodes that I haven't reviewed, I'm going to be reviewing 9 of them. The first episode I'm going to be reviewing is Josh runs into Oprah. This episode begins that it's Josh's birthday today, and Drake obviously forgets that it was Josh's birthday. But when Josh was eavesdropping on Drake calling someone that they're throwing a party at the theater, he thinks he actually did remember it was his birthday and throws this party for him. However... It was actually for Tapatha because Tapatha and Dre and Josh's birthday were on the same day. After seeing this, Josh was disappointed and leaves. However, when Helen talks to Drake that it was actually Josh's birthday, Drake decides to strap things up for with Josh. He gives him tickets and backstage patches to Oprah, and he kisses him. I know showing it well, would be very funny to look at, but at the same time, it's actually kind of disturbing for my taste. But since that we're getting to the part where we, Josh is about to land into a celebrity, which is the name of the title, things just gets more complicated for Josh. He wants to park into a closer location that is close to Oprah. However, jo Drake denies it. And then this happens. Josh runs into Oprah. Josh is really upset because if Oprah ever finds out that it was him who completely ran over her, she won't be able to talk to him at all, which is going to be very dis which is going to be very painful for Josh. However, Drake has this idea to apologize to her for accidentally running into her. However, Securely uses zappers to shock Drake and Josh, which is actually kind of very hilarious. The comedy gets better. Each season passes. So anyway, without any of other choice, Drake completely fakes that someone is needs to get in a chemical bath, which causes the security guys to leave. But not that long afterwards, they take Josh to the chemical bath. Well, that's kind of disappointing. This is by far the saddest and worst birthday Josh ever had. And when he came back from the hospital... He blames Drake for everything, and he will never make up with anything for Josh ever again. And you know what? He's right. Because for the majority of this, of this show, Drake always messes everything up and always does things for himself, and he's always careless. But then again, this isn't worse than the things that he did and Josh has done. So, I've got a feeling that this was just basically close to crossing the line. Because if he actually mess up, Instead of doing something right for Josh after this, Josh will be officially done with him. For sure. But at least we got an episode of that 10 episodes later. Hopefully, Drake does make it up to him by throwing an actual surprise party for him, despite maybe this is after that night or something. And he gives him a restraining order that he has to stay away from Opa from feet away. However, he finally gets an autograph from Oprah. Probably a good thing considering the fact that he finally got an autograph. But at the same time, this is probably the last time we're ever going to hear from Oprah. I'm not sure if that's actually a possibility. But I think this is the last time we ever hear from Oprah. Because I think Josh is going to actually get an autograph from her. Even though he also wants to talk to her. As for the subplot of this episode, Megan is, is, is taking care of a virtual pet who one of her friends gave her over the weekend and she has to take care of it. However, this dog, this virtual dog, won't be able to give Megan some sleep whatsoever. She doesn't know how to turn it off or anything. At the same time, I would have called this a me plot, but it really doesn't give much attention. I mean, we see Megan in these scenes like less than a minute, except the very first scene we see where she gives Josh a birthday cake and then explode on him. 
But other than that, there's really nothing in this subplot whatsoever. Because at the end, while well, Toby died, and Megan just tries to get him back to life. That's really how this subplot ends. I guess they really don't know what to do with Megan in this. I mean, Megan, Josh, and Drake are the only three characters who appeared all in the episodes of the show. So they just need to find a way on to give Megan something to do in this episode. I mean, the only bad thing he did, she did, was have the cake explode on Josh. But it was Josh's fault for not disobeying it. Yeah, they really know each other a lot. I really like this episode. I mean, for what this show can do for the very first episode of this season, I wouldn't say this is as bad as the Drake and Josh in or the Bet or the Pilot episode, but it's pretty safe and pretty average for a first episode of the very next season of the show. I give this episode... A 6.8 out of 10. If you want to know why I have these ratings really little Pacific, it's because I really need to know if I ever have to rate my episodes of what I review. That's what I'm trying to do here.